Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today you join me on a sunny Saturday afternoon at a place that is known as the birthplace of modern conservation. It's the headquarters of the Wildfowl and Wetlands Trust. Today I am at WWT Slimbridge. It's about a 40 minute drive from my flat in Bristol and I'm very excited to be here today and bring you with me. However, it's the bank holiday, it's the first sunny day in a long time and I'm in the overflow car park at the moment. I've never had to use the overflow car park before so it's gonna be busy. And today I am also trialing out some new equipment. If you've been following the channel for a little while, you might have noticed a few videos back, I broke my tripod. This was a tripod I got for about 10 quid from a car boot sale and now I've finally upgraded my kit to this absolute bad boy. Here, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but I wasn't expecting it to be so heavy. This thing weighs a ton. So I'm gonna get, be getting a bit of a workout today as I carry that beast between all the different bird hides. But I'm hoping to put it to use and I'll be able to show off some of the video that I take with the camera today. So let's go, shall we? tried to head immediately out of sight away from the crowds and I've headed straight to the summer walkthrough which is this lovely little path that runs along the edge of the estuary and as the name suggests it's only open in the summer it's absolutely gorgeous at the moment sun's out first day it's starting to feel like spring happy days Very excited by the prospect of starting the day with a brand new bird I'd never seen before, a lifer. I set up my tripod and tried to see if I could spot this blue throat. However, there wasn't much about and the guy next to me actually said he'd been there for three hours and not seen anything. The best I got was this very blurry footage of this reed bunting. But as the tripod was all set up, I stayed there for a little bit, got used to how the camera moved while on the tripod and got this footage of these distant cows. So no sign of a blue throat there, which is a bit of a shame. Look how lovely it is as well. So sunny, but as I thought, the place is pretty packed. Lots of families and birders out today, making the most of the sunny day. Part of the summer walkthrough was actually closed thanks to all the spring rain we've had this year, so I headed back the way I came, said hello to the cows I saw earlier, and then made my way up the estuary tower hide, which has these gorgeous views out over the estuary. Sir Peter Scott, the founder of the Wildfowl and Wetlands Trust, used to call Slimbridge the avian Serengeti, thanks to the large amount of bird species that could be found here, a lot of which you can see from the estuary tower hide because you're so high up, like this cute family of grey lag geese with their little gosling chicks, and a couple of shell ducks that were dabbling away in the waters but the highlight from the estuary tower was pointed out to me by a young lad and it was this distant brown hair that you can see here you might just be able to make out the little black tips on its ears so I took a quick snap and then was excited to explore the rest of the site
One of my favourite hides in all of Slimbridge is the Kingfisher hide. I love it how it looks like it's nestled away in this little hobbit hole and I knew something must be going on. So when I got in there, the place was packed. Apparently the Kingfisher had been seen not too long ago. So although I couldn't get a front row seat, I set up my tripod a little bit back and began the waiting game, scanning the reed beds and the perches, looking out for that distinctive iridescent flash of blue. As people began to leave, I shuffled forward and got a front row seat, and it was then I realised why all the windows in the hide were closed, and it was to try and avoid a disturbance to the kingfishers that are actually nesting in the riverbank. But now I was in the perfect spot, and it wasn't long before my patience was rewarded. And here it is, my first ever footage of a kingfisher. Absolutely fantastic. It's always brilliant to see a kingfisher, and normally you just get the briefest of glimpses, the blue blurs, it darts away up the river. So to see one, get good views and get footage as well, I was absolutely over the moon. Turning to face the camera there too, nice. And I even managed to get a couple of photographs. Lovely way to finish the afternoon. Kingfisher from the Kingfisher hide, perfect. The windows being closed did mean that the photos probably aren't going to be as good, but definitely makes sense on a busy bank holiday weekend to keep those, keep the noise down, you know. They, the young parents, they need their rest. So unfortunately, Simbridge closes at half five, so I had to slowly make my way back to the exit, but I thought I'd pay one more final visit to the South Lake, and this is the footage I got along the way. later back in the car um it's a lovely day at slim bridge as always it's a shame that it closes unfortunately so i would have stayed longer but carrying the tripod and the camera around was tough according to coach garmin i've walked four and a half miles and it's heavy i feel like i'm carrying a heavy kettlebell around all day but hopefully got some nice footage it, i'm still getting to grips with like the manual settings when filming so i was using auto more than i would like to today but you know, it's all a learning process. Okay, it's getting pretty hot in my car now, so I'm gonna wrap up. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel, give it a like, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much, everyone, and I'll see you later. Ta-da, bye!